And three, two, one. Hello, everyone. It's John, your Indian Cinemaniac, with what was going to be a 20-ish minute review, but is now a 10-ish minute review. Um, I'm going on vacation. In fact, I'm leaving in about an hour. And last night, Debbie, uh, Auntie Debbie and I were supposed to do a 20-ish minute review, but she had a, a voice problem. So she wasn't able to do it. And she's not sure when. And I couldn't do it while I was on vacation. And then by the time I get back, the YKY gang will be back. So I didn't want to wait to do this one. So it's going to be a 10-ish minute review. Now, I want to ask you, the audience, okay? I'm leaving for vacation in an hour yet, yet. I have committed to getting more content out for you, my loyal India Cinemaniac viewers. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking. That's right. If you haven't already, it's time to subscribe. Hit that notification button so you know when this stuff comes out. And please smash that like button and share if you know people would like this. Okay, so this is also off our viewer wheel. This was chosen by someone I've gotten to know a little bit, Wolverina Pagan. Um, and um, we started off uh, not on the right foot because I called her Wolverine Pagan. No, excuse, yeah, Wolverine Pagan. And then she uh, corrected me. It's Wolverina Pagan. And uh, her and I have been communicating. She's a big film fan. And we've gotten into uh, some pretty good discussions on film. And one of these days, I'm going to get her on the show. I tried for this one, but uh, she couldn't do it. So I was bummed out. But anyway, the movie that she selected that uh, Debbie and I uh, watched, but only I will be talking about, is 2011's Seven Kun Moth. And uh, it's directed by Vishal Bardwaj. It stars Priyanka Chopra Jones, who I've seen in a couple of things, Arun Kumar, Nadi Kumar, na excuse me, Nandi Kumar, John Abraham, who I've seen in Madras Cafe and Doom, Irfan Khan, who I saw in The Lunchbox, and also he was in uh, Spider-Man, um, and Nasiruddin Shah, who I just watched on uh, Wednesday, amongst others. Um, so when I read the description for this, it's a femme fatale who kills seven of her husbands. So I was thinking uh, fatal attraction, uh, basic instinct. I was not expecting a pretty black comedy because this movie, although had some very serious stuff in it, was very funny. Um, and I found myself laughing at very inopportune times. But I was laughing. So this was 2011. So I'm not I'm I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, but this movie, um, first of all, I thought she was fantastic. Uh, Priyanka. Is that how you pronounce it? Priyanka. I've seen her in stuff and um, uh, like Barfi. I really liked her in. But this one, it was like every time she got married, she became a different person. Her look, her name, her personality. So this happened seven times. And. It starts off with a um, a, a soldier, and I'm not sure. I, I, I'm pretty sure he was uh, he was Catholic, but I think he was British. I hope, and he's just a total jerk. In fact, uh, he's got he's got a wooden leg. So his wife uh, Priyanka or Susanna um, dances with a, a lieutenant, and it's a very sexy dance, by the way. And it's beautiful, right? And then he confronts this lieutenant in the bathroom, is talking to him kind of sweetly, and then smashes his head into a mirror. So now you know who this guy is. And then as that story continues, he's treating her horribly. In fact, at one point, he takes his wooden leg and puts it up by her face. And I thought for a second, like he was going to, you know, hit her with it. So, uh, so, so you, you, you see what she's going through. So when he dies by a panther, a panther attack you're kind of like oh that's okay because he kind of was he deserved it and he was real mean to uh, uh um one of the workers uh, a short worker at the um uh, horse place the the stable a uh, uh, what was his name G G i don't know they kept repeating his name G gungi no i'm i'm going to say it wrong so i'm not going to say it but he was he, he just mean to him so so now she gets married again well wait a minute let me it started off kind of starkly you see her sitting there at a table 
She's got tears down her eyes. She's got a gun to her head. And it's it's actually kind of a cheat because in the end, you find out it's not exactly what you saw. But you hear the gunshot go off. You see a blood splatter on the wall. That's how it starts. So that kind of sets the tone for it. Then it gets into her young, beautiful, and she's a beautiful woman, absolutely gorgeous. Um, so then, then they go to that. Then she gets married a second time to John Abraham, who I've seen in a bunch of stuff. This is, you know, he was young when he did this. And he plays a singer who ends up becoming a rock star. In fact, he does a rock concert. He looks just like Axl Rose. Well, needless to say, that goes south because he's doing drugs and heroin and he's cheating on her. And, you know, as he becomes more famous, um, so he ODs or so we think, um, then he, she marries Irfan, Ir, Ir, Irfan Khan. That's her third husband. And he is some kind of, um, I don't know what the word is, but he's almost, I know he's not an evangelist, but that's what he seems like. And, and this is where it took, uh, to me, the darkest turn. So in order for him to be able to have sex, and, and you know, in these Indian movies, they, they don't show a lot of sex, let's be honest. In this one, they don't either. But in order for him to be able to perform, he's got to beat the crap out of it. And there's the first scene is brutal, where he's just slapping her and hitting her and being really rough with her. And it's the only way he can enjoy sex. And... And you kind of see where this is going, okay? These guys are just treating her horribly. And he ends up getting, and this is a spoiler, buried alive. But he's another one where he uh, deserves it. Because the whole time he's beating her up and trying to have sex with her, he's whispering in her ear. It's it's a really disturbing scene. Uh, and you're kind of rooting for him to die. Isn't that awful? But it's true. And she also, throughout the movie, she, she references Anna Karina, and that's going to come back later on. Um, so then she ends up with the inspector who investigated the original murder, and he just he just wants her. So in order to um, kind of clear her of the murder, she sleeps with him. Well, now she's going to marry him, and that sex scene is very funny. Because you never see her, all you see him, and he's a much older guy. I also read that she would not kiss him because he was so much older, but there was more to it than that. I don't know the backstory about why she wouldn't. Um, and I think he was, I think that was Nandi Kumar. I think, no, Arun Kumar, that's who that was. Uh, but that was a very funny scene. And of course, he takes Viagra to perform with her, and he dies of a Viagra overdose. So you saw that one coming. Um, in fact, it was it was the way they shot this scene. They they show her getting married to this inspector, and then it cuts to his funeral, and then they flash back to how he died, which I thought was funny. Also, one other thing before I get to some of the other husbands, um, th uh, there were a lot of songs in English, which kind of surprised me. I, I you don't hear that at least I, in the movies I've seen. I haven't heard that that often. So there was a lot of them. Um, so now she marries a doctor. She tries to kill herself. She tries to OD, and she ends up a doctor um, who was uh, Nesirudin Shah, finds her, brings her back to health. Now they get married. Now this got a little confusing to me, but I think I figured it out. At one point, he goes away. He's a doctor, and uh, someone breaks into her house and tries to get to her, and she ends up wailing on the guy. Um. And then the police come, and then the husband comes the next day. Then there's a scene where he's standing in front of a mirror, and she's behind him. And she sees all the I, – I, this is what – at first, I didn't understand this, because every husband, she found out something about them that ended up she wanted to kill him. So in this one, she looks at his back, and he had like – they look like bruises. And a realization comes on her face, and then she realizes he's going to kill her. At first, I didn't really understand that. So, because I thought the burglar who broke in got killed, but he didn't. So, I assume, and, and tell me in the comment section if I'm right, he was the guy that broke in to try to get to her. And when she wailed on him, she's the one that caused the, those bruises. Well, she figured it out. Now, the other thing I've kind of skipped, but throughout the course of the movie, there's three characters who are involved in her entire life the maid, the butler, and the stable uh, boy, and some young man that she adopted kind of at the beginning of the movie who throughout the movie is a relationship with her and, and is becoming a doctor. 
Okay. And that was, uh, by the way, he was very good. Uh, I think, I think that was Nandi Kumar. I think. Um, so now through poison mushrooms, the butler dies. So once that happens, because she loved the butler, you know, she's going to kill him. That's where they play this scene, Russian roulette. And it is brutal. And it was tense. And it wasn't like any other scene in the movie. Um, she also marries a Russian who has got a whole nother family. So, you know, he's going to die, um, <laughs> which he does because she's got pet cobras. So, again, she marries them. They all have problems, and you're rooting for her to kill them. So now, as we get to the end of the movie, where everyone thinks she's dead, now we start finding out the truth. Like there was this footprint with six toes in the first murder, and they're trying to figure out who that was, and it ends up being the maid. They all had a hand in killing every one of her husbands. And finally, the young doctor who cleared her, in other words, said the dead body they found in a burning house that that she burned, and by the way, killed the maid. That's where we found out she had six toes. Um, he he says it's not her DNA, even though he knows it. It, uh, it, it is her DNA, even though it's not, and he knows it. So now he goes looking for her, and he finds her. Now she's an older woman. And and by the way, I, I like the way they did the old age makeup. It wasn't ridiculously old. Um, in fact, I read that she she put on some weight for it and she wanted to look like an aunt of hers or a grandmother. Maybe it was white hair, but but she was still, you know, she's still a beautiful woman. So and then um, you realize they, they play it little MacGuffin that she's going to get married for the seventh time. And, you know, he's trying to talk. Why would you do this? Why are you killing these people? Blah, 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 blah. So then they set you up for the ending. They show the church. They show they show him at the church. And the twist is she's becoming a nun. She's going to be Sister Anna. Again, back to Anna Karina. And um, she is marrying God. That's that's how almost to the end. So because she, you know, she was talking about marriage and how, you know, uh, she likes being married, but it's no good for all the reasons. You know, I mean, she killed every husband. So the one thing that kind of bothered me as a Catholic was the last scene in the movie, they have her dancing with Jesus, which I found a little creepy to be up front with you. But they were flashing back to every murder where they showed how the murders were done. So now a much clearer understanding of what happened. But look, uh, this movie was her show she was wonderful in it um like i said you're rooting for her to kill these guys because they were so bad it was a pretty big cast too so uh if you haven't seen this movie i know i've spoiled the hell out of it so i certainly hope you've seen it but uh wolverina uh you've got a a, a dark streak in you i think uh, that you wanted me to watch this and i certainly am not going to let my wife watch it okay but it was uh it was really good and uh, it it was tense the whole time and it was funny, as more murders happened, you're like, okay, how's she going to do this one? How's she going to do this one? And is she going to get caught? So, uh, yeah, I give this one, um, for the type of movie it was, I'm going to give it five Ledoux's, okay? Because it really kept my interest, and I thought her performance was wonderful. One of the better performances I've seen from a uh, female lead in the Indian movies. I put uh, English of English and Queen right up there. Uh, but she was, uh, you know, she's... Uh, Great actress. And she can dance, too. She can dance. So, Wolverina, thank you so much. Debbie, I'm going to ask you what you think about this when we do uh, What You Watch on the next Indian film, on the next YKY. So uh, I'll ask you what you thought about it then. And, uh, you know, again, I would love I would love to have seen her on this, but uh, I wanted to get it out. I'm going to edit it while I'm on vacation and get it out this week. So I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys commenting on the videos that I've done. I'm trying to put out as much as I can, and it's uh, it's been a lot of fun doing. It's been fun talking to the gang one on one. They get a little more time to talk. But Ralph's back at the beginning of September. We're all looking forward to getting the group back together. I know you guys are because you've been asking for it. I don't know. Is that I, I, should I take that personally? I don't know. 
I'm the Indian cinemaniac. Maniac! Exclamation point. But anyway, listen, I hope you enjoyed this. So I hope it's going to get you to subscribe. Hit the notification button. Hit the like button. And please share it with anyone you think might enjoy it. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. And I think the next time we'll talk, we'll have the whole gang here. So thanks for watching, as always.